for this AFC Divisional round. From way up at the 23. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And the Texans getting ready to go here to begin the third quarter. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering, how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We've proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to give them a little jolt of confidence moving forward. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Watson. We talk a lot about setting the tone to start the game. Well, you want to start the tone right in the third quarter as well and nearly lost a football there in their first drive. And sometimes we overdo it when we talk about halftime adjustments and what teams are going to do. Most of the time, it's just a matter of executing the game plan you brought in. But I guarantee you, they didn't draw that play up on the whiteboard at halftime. They're fortunate to retain possession. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. The gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try and increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. This is Harris. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. And they got to get to the 23 here on third. They go play action now. Roethlisberger. That is caught by Smith Schuster. And they move this all the way down to the nine. And now they're in the hurry up. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. 106 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this divisional round matchup. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big... And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Steelers offense, they continue to pour it on. Boswell good with the extra point. And the lead was swirled by one there. Second to six plays. And it was Najee Harris who finished it off with the touchdown run. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Not much leg here. Fields this at the 24-yard line. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Now after the play, it looks like there's a Texan here slow to get up. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. There's a nice pickup right there, and after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Cobb. That catch good for only a couple. Second and eight. Here's Watson. Out to the flat here for Johnson. The ball comes out, and it's picked up by the Steelers. Pass him this! Pass him this! 
So the turnover forced and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created to help him get all the way back upfield? I mean, that's the part that people miss on. That's practice. That's work done. It doesn't just happen in a game and everyone rallies. They discuss it prior to, and everyone knows. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Najee Harris saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Steelers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that would extend this big lead. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Not much leg here. Fields this at the 24-yard line. And yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. And the Texans set to come onto the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it now yeah. because you're exactly yeah. Trying to get it to Cobb, and it's intercepted. It's Devin Bush, the linebacker, who picks it. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Well, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback is not fooled between zone and man. Sometimes you're fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. On third down, it's Harris. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Harris, touchdown, Pittsburgh. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop it. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. From way up at the 23. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good win. And now Watson throws another interception. Picked off right around the 43. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in their second-half blowout material. A first down run, not going to get them a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. Over the middle complete. That's Johnson. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Deontay Johnson, 38 yards. And the Steelers get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Boswell good with the extra point. And the lead will swell by one more. Pretty clean and simple there, just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. From way up at the 23. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Get the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Joe Hayden there to bring him down. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll go again with Lindsey. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. 
Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Watson, and this one incomplete. And another throw that really could have been, maybe should have been intercepted. That would have been number four. Instead, it's fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. Now we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? But everything is working for them. Every move they make works. It clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. This is Harris. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. 153 yards rushing for him now in the ball game as he is trying to will his guys to the championship round next weekend. On third down, it's Harris. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll run on first down. Harris, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Try to run for it with Snell. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They'll get it to the 23-yard line. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. A give to Harris. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They hand this off to Harris. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris taking it in from four yards out. And this Steelers offense is running away with this one. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that will extend this big lead. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it was Najee Harris who finished it off with a touchdown run. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. From way up at the 23. He's going to be stopped here with a penalty marker on the field. I'm not sure what this is about. So potentially a good chance now to answer back from the touchdown a minute ago as they get 15 yards tacked on. It's going to give them much better starting field position, and they didn't even have to make an extra play to get it. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. 
Stephon Tewitt able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. 